Geo Tractor Diesel Conversion Update Time. So, uh, these last videos showing how the oil pan was interfering with the axle. So, as you can see, I've cut out a big piece of the oil pan, and I just got done modifying this pickup tube. So that's gonna go right there. And pick up from down in there. No problem there. It's sort of ugly but functional, I'm sure. I haven't tested for leaks, but this uh, brazing looks pretty good here. This copper tube. I bent the copper tube with the torch and then beat on it until it looked ugly. Uh, packed it with sand to keep the pipe from wrinkling up. And it looked good until, like I say, I started beating on it, so whatever. Uh, yeah, the braze looks looks decent enough. Um, welded in this uh, brace here just now. Alright, so uh, I was looking at this today and there was some encouraging uh, discovery that I made. Um, I noticed the dipstick full mark is pretty far up into the block here. Right about there. So we're going to have a good amount of oil capacity above where I've cut away the oil pan. Probably uh, knock out a quart, two quarts maybe with this modification. I'm going to mount the drain plug right on that part for creating new pieces of that oil pan. I got these heavy gauge bread pans. I'm going to cut those up. I got a punch and flange tool from Harbor Freight. Not that drawer. So I got this air punch today. So I can flange all the edges there and then I'll I won't weld it, I will braze it because it needs to be liquid tight and it's a lot easier to get that right with the equipment I have if I braze it. So Coming right along.